Your pet is sick or injured. Are there times when I suggest that you should be using this, conventional tablets, over this, natural remedies? Find out what I think in this video. Poodle, what should we be using? Is there like a right answer? Is there a wrong? Drula, you need to help us decide. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can click the link in the box below for more information. So this is a little bit of story time relating personal experience and maybe helping me maybe think through a few of the suggestions I make and maybe like, eh, I, I need to do a video on this. Okay, so I gotta take you back. So the story is this. This is a recreation. I'm not actually at my CrossFit gym. Been doing CrossFit, trying to get better doing pull-ups. These things go like kicking pull-ups, right? Oh, wow. It's impressed because like three months ago I couldn't do that. But just imagine I'm at CrossFit. I'm like pushing myself because the pregnant lady who is off to the right is doing twice as many pull-ups as I am. So I'm like, oh, I can do this. Yeah. What do I do? I injure myself. So post-workout, I'm laying on the ground because my lower back is in like a spasm. It's not happy. I'm like, okay, what do I do? I'm like, do I go the conventional, give myself like immediate pain relief route? Or do I go the natural route? Like, you know, do what I say, don't say what I do, you know. Yeah, live by my own words. You know the whole deal, right? So what do we do? So I don't do it. I don't reach for the pills, the big magic pills. I don't like go for the big guns. I'm like, I'm doing something holistic, natural. I mean, that's what I keep professing. Like, okay, this is what you gotta do. So like, I gotta mm, do as I say, say as I do kind of thing. Pop some valerian, give me some muscle spasm relief. Didn't really do a whole lot. Generally works pretty good. Good natural anti-inflammatory. I took three or four of these 95% curcumin. Works awesome. But this back was just like so painful not releasing. I'm like fine, I'm not going to the CBD. I, had, I popped in some CBD. Still wasn't giving me much pain relief. I'm like, okay. I mean, you know, especially, you know, when your back is like so sore and you can relate probably the very same things happening to your own pets. I'm like, mm, it's okay to maybe think of something else to come out of some immediate pain relief. Next was a visit to the acupuncturist, which was awesome. Gave me some great, um, fairly immediate pain relief. At first I was a bit like, nee, kind of dicey. Worked so, so well. And, you know, she even mentioned you know, like sometimes you said, are you taking anything? Like, no, I'm not taking anything. The last thing I want to do is take like these pills. So let's just say little Tula had something different. She's zooming around after a ball, which she tends to do. And there she is going for a crazy huge play with some of the neighbor's dogs. She comes in with a really painful sore back. I mean, do I, you know, reach for that big guns? Do I want to give her some immediate pain relief? Or do I, you know, try some of that? Yeah, natural things that I keep suggesting in all the array of different videos on these, this channel. The short answer, you know, well, sometimes it's okay to use the conventional medication. And, you know, for 20 years while I was in veterinary practice, darn right, I used a lot of conventional medication. As I went along more in practice, I used more and more alternative, natural, holistic treatments. But there is definitely a time and a place for conventional veterinary medication conventional veterinary medicine, especially it's gonna give your dog, your cat, some you know immediate relief from whatever condition they may have. Right, little Tula. What I'm trying to say is, you know, don't uh, be so regimented and rigid that, you know, a conventional medication is not an option. You know, say for instance, you know, your dog is in acute pain and I understand because I'm very much the exact same thing. I really want to avoid the use of as much conventional medication as possible. But you know, if little Tula was in acute pain, 
it would be okay for me to reach for an anti-inflammatory that's okay to use on you. Right. It would be okay for me to give her something such as aspirin, you know, her, her dose of about a half of a 325 milligram tablet of aspirin. If that's going to give her some immediate pain relief, and it is short term. Is there a right answer? Like when do you use this? When do you not use that? No, clearly it's gray. There's an array of different choices out there. Um, and if anything, I mean, a big part of this channel is just giving you guys all the, those different choices and options, you know, not just going to see your vet, you know, getting that diagnostic test, uh, getting that conventional medication, knowing that there's an array of different options as far as do you get the conventional diagnostic test or not? Do you get the conventional medication? Do you take the you know, conventional treatments or do you go for the natural ones? So what happened with me, you guys may be wondering. Well, post the acupuncturist, the Chinese medicine doctor, who was awesome. I went home, I opened up my unopened ibuprofen, which I also had for this tooth thing. There they are. My four milligrams of ibuprofen. I pop one of these, post, uh, including part of you know, having acupuncture. And honestly, I mean, within an hour, I'm like, oh, I had such good pain relief making me think perhaps I should have done it sooner. <clears throat> Part of the whole issue is also getting top of the inflammatory pain cascade so it doesn't sort of escalate on you, which I know, which is another key principle of, you know, taking some of these potential medications or treatments early on, not sort of waiting and letting it build up. Regardless, I'm feeling so much better now. Back feels great. And I did do a couple more acupuncture treatments. It was awesome, I highly recommend it. And you know, I took Two of these pills, two treatments, give me some good immediate pain relief. Long term, it's a combination of seeing the acupuncturist, starting to lift things properly, starting to listen to some more of my muscles, and yeah, get on even a bit of stretching. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Energy Secrets. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can click the link in the box below for more information. Plus, I'd love to hear what you guys think. You know, feel free and I encourage you to leave comments below. You know, is it, you always use the garlic? Or do you sometimes go for this, the antibiotics? I'm curious what you think.